And we are back with Cheryl March, and she's the author of Distinctly You, Trading Comparison and Competition for Freedom, Freedom and Fulfillment. If that sounds like you, stay with us. Cheryl, you were just talking about the three Ds, um, depression, and what happens when we compare. Yeah, when we compare ourselves yes, to other and, people. Yes, and if you look at the proliferation of social media, it's made it even mm -hmm. worse because we can vicariously look at someone else's website or their Facebook postings, or their Twitter posts, and say, wow, their life seems so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we do this even spiritually. I've been saved longer than this. Singles do it all the time. God, I've been serving you all of my life. She just got saved yesterday. Why is it she's getting married and I'm not? <laughs> Okay. Okay, I remember <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Excuse or either, me. Or, no, here's another one, Valerie. She's not as spiritual as I am. That's right. Or, wait a minute, I work out, you do, you do all these things, and see, that's, that's, the, wrong, that's the wrong data. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong dialogue that we should be having. First of all, maximize what God has given you. When you focus on what's wrong with you, you diminish what's right about you. Mm. There is so much that we can do to be the very best that we can be. And when we know the assignment that God has given us and we focus on this, and I think John the Baptist is a wonderful example. In John chapter 3, you see him clearly knowing who he was and who he wasn't. So when we know what God has called us to do, we can stay in our lane. Mm. He knew that he was not the great one. He was never in competition with Jesus. But yet he had a specific calling, just like the Son of God. So when his disciples said, everybody's leaving you and going to Jesus, you know what he said? That's how it should be. That's the mark of a person fully confident and very much at peace with his or her assignment and God giving that assignment. He said he must be greater and I must diminish. How many people today can walk around and say, I applaud your success, Valerie. You know why? You are in the position that God called you to be in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do everything I can to applaud you. Wow. You know, when I think about people wanting to be, you know, saying, I have all of these desires. I want to be, you know, a worship leader. I want to stand on the stage with bright lights, and God hasn't called them to that. And I'd imagine that that's where that you know, the sadness comes in because you're not really walking up to that. Talk about um, the benefits of being distinctly you because then when we walk into that path, then God can use us and do amazing things for him. The most important thing I have found is we all have dreams and visions. It's not me praying and saying, Lord, this is what I want. Okay. Everything has to run through the filter of, Lord, is this your will? Jesus Christ is our best example. Even Jesus said, I only do what my father tells me to do. I only say what my father. He was so concerned about being distinctly on the path that God himself ordained. I have found that when I'm consumed with my desires, those desires can actually derail me. Mm -hmm. But when I am consumed every day with being in the will of God, when I had my career in broadcasting one time, I felt like, you know what, God, I'm not getting the opportunities that others get, and I believe I'm just as good as the next person. You know what God said to me one day after I finished venting? <laughs> <laughs> he said, are you through? Because I have something I want to say to you. Okay. And this is what he said. He said, and he gave me a sports analogy. He said, you know how there, there are players on the team and they wear the jersey, but they never get to play? He said, if that was my will for you before the foundation of the world, that you get to wear the jersey, but you never play. I want you to have a smile on your face, and I want you to be happy. And if I decide there's anything else I want you to do, wow. I'll have you do it. Mm -hmm. One of the blockers is having a big view of ourselves called pride. Mm -hmm. I is in the middle. This whole sense of entitlement. The Lord made me realize I had to humble myself, but he also said, I want you to go to work and do everything in your power to make your coworker look good. And don't wow. worry about your career. Humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Do your work as unto me. And you know what, Valerie? When I least expected, when I wasn't aiming or jockeying for a position, God opened incredible doors. You know why? It was no longer about me. We live in a society, it's all about us. Everybody's trying to increase their profile. 
that is not the way to distinction God's way. The distinction should be, I'm here to glorify God. Why? Because when we stand before God, it will be, did you accomplish what I created you for? And people shouldn't be discouraged if they can't just snap their fingers and make this happen. This is a process, isn't it? It's, it's a, a process. Journey. It took me a long time. I put everything in this book that God has taught me. It has been a process. I've been very transparent about triumphs as well as tragedies. Mm -hmm. But when we are committed to loving God and saying, God, change me more than anything else, I want to be the person that you created me to be. That is freedom. Okay, Cheryl, you are a broadcaster. You know this when I say you have 30 seconds to look <laughs> into that camera and encourage someone. We're gonna let you have the final say so, the final word. God created you with purpose. He loves you. What he wants you to do is stop comparing yourself with others, stop running a race. You are not equipped to run. Don't waste another minute. Be the person he has distinctly called you to be. I'm going to say amen to that. Thank you so much for sharing you. your insights with us today. To connect with Cheryl, visit CherylMartin.org or go to Harvest-TV.com for a link to her new project. It's called Distinctly You, Trading Comparison and Competition for Freedom and Fulfillment. Coming up later, Pastor Mark Lance with part two of today's Connections. But up next, Brian Bush with the latest news from Israel. We'll be right back. <music>